In the United States, low value health care disproportionately impacts communities of color. When existing health care frameworks undervalue certain benefits that improve quality of life and patient centered outcomes, health disparities may be exacerbated. Unfortunately, this flawed reality falls disproportionately on some of society's most vulnerable members. Black and brown people have less access to recommended clinician visits, diagnostic tests, and prescription medicines that play a critical role in preventing and managing disease. In most states, people of color who are insured are more likely to face cost-related access barriers. For example, in 2019, Black, Latino, and Hispanic people were more likely to go without care due to cost. Additionally, Black and American Indian and Native populations are more likely to die early from conditions that are treatable with timely access to high-quality health care. Increasing access to high-value health care in underserved communities is an essential strategy in advancing health equity. But not all health care that is routinely delivered improves patient-centered outcomes. Up to a third of total U.S. medical spending does not contribute to improved individual or population health. Even in states with high-performing health systems, studies show that systematic differences result in people of color receiving lower quality health care. It is well established that black and brown people receive less effective care. Unfortunately, Recent studies reveal that minority populations also receive more low-value care. For example, a 2017 study reported that Black and Hispanic patients received significantly more inappropriate cardiac testing before cataract surgery. Additionally, Black and Hispanic patients with advanced dementia face significantly greater odds of inappropriately receiving feeding tubes. Greater receipt of low-value services crowds out the delivery of effective care, resulting in worsened health care disparities and patient-centered outcomes. While a single solution is unlikely to resolve the complex and multifaceted causes of health disparities, understanding racial and ethnic differences in the receipt of low-value care is central to improving health equity. How do we get there? Devote resources to examine how low value care impacts equity. Increase engagement with underserved communities to identify low value services. Ensure that research incorporates the unique perspectives and needs of underserved communities. Promote policy changes that reward high quality care and remove incentives for the provision of low-value care. Such changes can create system-wide savings, reallocate spending to prioritize high-value care, and most importantly, improve patient-centered outcomes in communities of color. By incorporating equity and the diverse needs of underserved communities in the definition of low-value care, we can encourage progress towards addressing health disparities. For more information on healthcare disparities and health equity, please visit thebidcenter.org.